day, a letter came to the house. Zilla, the Zilla cried the stepmother. Listen to this! She read the letter. The king is having a ball tonight. His son, the prince, will choose a wife. Every girl in the kingdom must be there. Then I could go too, said Cinderella. You cried the sisters, and they laugh and laugh. But it says every girl in this kingdom must be there, said Cinderella. The stepmother smiled. Smile. Of course, you may go. You may go if you have do your work first and if you have a dress to wear. Oh, thank you, said Cinderella, and she ran up to her room. Cinderella needed help with their dresses. When she was done, the stepmother said, It's time to go to the ball, girls. Are you ready, Cinderella? No, said Cinderella sadly. I didn't have to, to fix my dress. Too bad, said the stepsister. The master works faster, Cinderella. They watched Cinderella go up to her room. When Cinderella opened the door, she saw something wonderful. The dress was ready. Surprise, said the mice. It was the pretty dress of all I haven't seen, Cinderella said. Put it on and wound down the stairs. Wait, she called. I have a dress. They couldn't be believe their hot eyes. Flash, <laughs> cried the sala. The beads cried a little bit. They ripe off the sash and pulled off the beat. Cinderella's dress was ruined. Come along, girls, said the stepmother. The prince is waiting. For and they went off the palace, and Cinderella was left. Cinderella went to the garden, and the mice ran after her. I wish I could go to the bar, said Cinderella. But it is no use. My wish will never come true. Cinderella go home. The magic ended. Coach turned back into a pumpkin. Coachman took back to the horse. The footman turned back into a dog. There was Cinderella and the mice just before. The next day, the grand duke took the glass slipper to every house in the kingdom. At last, she, he came to the house where Cinderella lived. Cinderella was up in her room. First, Cinderella tried the slipper. Her foot is too long. Then, Cinderella tried the slipper. Her feet was too light. Are there any other girls in the room? Asked the grand dude. No, said the stepmother. Just then, Cinderella came downstairs. Who's, Who's this? this? Asked, Asked the, the grand dude. She's the only maid, said the stepmother. I don't care, says the grand dude. She too must try the slipper. It fit perfectly. Cinderella reached into her pocket and pulled out another slipper. Grand dude bowed to Cinderella. You are the girl that princess he must be very, said the grand duke. So Cinderella went to the palace and married the prince. And they live happily ever after.